What's up, Masters of the Universe, Classics fans, and collectors of all ages? It's your girl, Miss Toy Diva, and I'd like to welcome you all to my channel, Fast as Such Guys and Ladies. As you can hear my voice, I am in a great mood because I finally get to show you uh, my Masters of the Universe Classics figures that I've been telling you about. Now, I was told you on um, Black Friday 2016, uh, my comic shop had a sale. It was buy 10 Masters of the Universe Classic figures and get one free, which was a great deal. But what I didn't tell you is that these figures were $10 each. Can you believe it? $10 dollar, dollar bills? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, y'all? $10 each. Now, some of these figures, you're going to be blown away as I was as well. You can only get single figures. You couldn't, like, you know, go into scalper mode and get doubles and triples and multiples. You couldn't. So, I'm going to show you my free uh, figure that I picked up first, which actually is a two-pack. And remember, this is my free figure, not excluding the 10 figures I'm going to show you. So my two-pack that I picked up is, are you ready? For free is, here we go. Boom. Yes. Snake Men. If you are a fan, a uh, collector of these figures, you know Snake Men as like two packs period i wanted to get the horde troopers i wanted to get that so bad they even had i think it was armored armored uh, uh he-man and king hiss but somebody snatched it up but i picked this one up because oh my goodness i had an eyeball on this one this is the one that was left and i snatched it up but this is the snake man a two pack this is my free figure so i'm going to like show you how awesomeness and epicness this pack is really really nice look at the detail on this this is so sick so dope i was so happy to pick this one up like i said i wanted the horde trooper so badly here's the packaging in the back right here so many awesome figures to choose from and my comic shop you know what i mean they still have these so hopefully i'll be able to get them here's a buyer which uh, they don't do anymore uh maddie collector you know uh back in the day you might as well say they just dropped this line so uh super seven is picking up this line right now so that's a pretty awesome deal and we can, i can't wait to see uh what they're going to do with this line for the masters and the universe classic figures which is amazing so this is actually my free figure so i'm going to go and show you the other figures that I picked up. Okay, guys and ladies, the first one I'm going to show you is, of course, from 2010. It is the faceless one, and this came in the original white box. Again, you know, Maddie Collector, they changed over to, I believe, the tan box. So, let's get this bad boy out of here. And here it is. Nice. Awesome. Awesome packaging. Love to display this packaging again. You got to look like Castle Gish Go. And nice, nice, awesome packaging here. And I'm zooming in on his face a little so you guys can see the detail of the face. This one, even though he looked like he has a mask, his eyes are really black. And the, the colors again with the three colors you got the, you know, the, the purple and the black and this different arrangements of these colors. Really, really nice. Even down to his boots. And of course, he has the cape on the side. Sorry about the glare. Really nice. It came out really dope this week. And look at that. Nice staff with the horns. The faceless one. Pretty awesome. And here's the back of it right here. All the rest of these figures, I want them all. <laughs> and here we go with the bio. Of course, you remember uh, Maddie Collector. Uh, they start with the bio. Of course, hopefully Super 7, uh, since they took over, I'm hoping that they will, uh, you know, add the bios back in. Next we have from 2014, and it is Calyx. Yeah, here goes the tan box right here. So let's, let's get this bad boy out of here. So many figures to go, you yeah, guys. That's amazing. Boom. Calyx. Look like the rock man. So, that's a sick, sick figure right here. Oh, my goodness. Like I said, wow. Collectors were snatching and grabbing these figures left and right. Look like a, a rock guy. Nice detail. Look like stones. You really look at the detail of this figure. And here's the side of it. This look like you're all in rock. And it came out really nice to get that rock effect. Of, even the shield looked like it's made of like stone and rock. Really, really nice. 
Love the shading of this figure, and here's the back of it. Again, so many awesome and amazing figures to choose from, and here's a bio. You guys can check that out and read that one as well. Wow. So many awesome and amazing figures. You just, ah. I am, like, losing my mind because I wanted these figures for the longest. Next again from 2014 is Evil Seed. Wow. Let's get him out. Saw him, and I'm like, Oh yeah, I think there was a couple of him collectors again was snatching and grabbing him. It's another great figure to choose from Evil Seed. Pretty dope. Love of how they uh, made him. Really nice detail on this guy. Pretty amazing how they sculpt these figures. Again, I hope Super 7 will uh, just, you know, they have the same modes now. So they shouldn't have a problem of... of I'm making up these these uh, awesome awesome figures and just you know sending them out here and giving them to us because we're going to snatch them and grab them of course hopefully they can do that which i think they should be able to and just enjoy and here's the back right here pretty nice and again a bio of him oh, awesome awesome love these bios right can't get enough of them gotta have them gotta have them all it's great you know to have that detail on these figures and I hope when, and that they continue to do so in the near future. The next figure we have is from 2013 and it is too bad. So let's get this out. So this figure, I didn't know too much about it but the collectors were telling me to, to take him because I only had a couple of him of them. Here's too bad right here. Awesome. Awesome. Two figures in one which was dope looking. Look at that. Two figures in one and it came out really, really nice. That's the detail. Look at that. Nice. Too bad. Like I said, some of these figures don't even know too much about them. But uh, <laughs> from what I understand, these figures are up in price. I think this one might be. But the detail on it, the colors, just came out really, really nice and dope. Pretty sweet. And here's the back of it right here. And again... A bio of too bad. Pretty nice. I like this one. This is one of my favorite ones. Even though I don't know too much about him or them, uh, pretty much a favorite one as well. Oh my goodness. Next I have, whoa, this is one that's like what everybody was snatching him. From 2013 is Mantena. Don't know much about him, but people were snatching and grabbing him. They're saying he's a, a keeper. And I'm like, okay, I'll take him. Mantena is pretty dope. I was even looking on my phone to see some of these prices on these figures. And I'm like, yeah. I asked my comic shop, are you going out of business? What is happening? And he said, no, he's just in a good mood. So here's Mantena. And you can see the eyes are sick. Look at that. His eyes are amazing. And I think he has an extra set of eyes, as I believe. But the colors on him, he is also a popular uh, figure as well. I think there's extra eyes at the bottom. And I think they pop out of his head. <laughs> and you can pop them out and put them back in. The shorter eyes or the longer eyes that I guess I'm elongated out of his eyes. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to do that. Here's the rest of them from the back. And I cost another bow. Man, Tana, like I said, collectors were snatching him up. I think they had maybe about two or three of this guy. But they said he's very popular as well. Wow, so five down and five more to go. So I'm not finished. And I'm surely not done. There's five more. Okay, I saved the best five for last. <laughs> I really like these. Uh, from 2013, it is the unnamed one. What? Are you kidding me? Now, I knew about this guy. And I'm like, give him to me, please. This guy is like so sick. And here he goes. Bam. Wow, that is so so sick unnamed one is the son of he man evil lord of chaos this is so dope look at that figure oh i have to zoom in on that one i saw this one i'm like yes have to have it what what have to grab it this is so dope look at that oh my goodness even the helmet on the side so many effects you got oh like i said some of these guys i don't even know but I knew this guy and everybody. I think they had maybe two of these. And <laughs> little collectors, they was kind of upset with me about this one. But I'm like, look, 
I have to pick him up. He is so sick. Wow. This is what I want. The horde troopers. They had two of them. Of course, couldn't pick that up. But this fly. And I got the unnamed one. I'm happy with that one. This is a nice, nice piece to have in your collection. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Another awesome one is from 2012. It is Jitsu. What? Jitsu is another amazing one as well. Saw this guy. I was just losing my mind trying to get as many as I could and here he is right there. Bam. Jitsu was so sick right here. What? This guy is amazing. He's the evil uh, master of martial arts. Really dope. Really dope figure. He's a, he's a, a figure that everybody wants to have too I believe. Look at that. That came out really really nice. So sick right there. These figures are just, ah, uh, I love them. I love these figures. Like I said, I haven't been collecting that long, but my goodness, to get some of these figures and add them to my collection and, and for a great price of $10 each, you can't get no, you can't get no better than that. This is a nice, nice figures right here. As a buyer, this pretty sick and amazing. But, oh my goodness, three more to go and you think this is awesome. Wait till you see these last three. This next one is from 2009, and here he comes, Battled Armor He-Man. What? And this was actually sealed. I had to open it up. Battled Armor He-Man. Look at that. Sick. Wow. That is so sick. Snatch this one up as well. This is a great, great figure to have in your collection if you are a He-Man figure. Wow, I mean a collector. This is amazing. To get this figure at a great price is just oh, pretty amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Can't get no better than that. I'm really, really excited. But like I told this guy, like I told the owner, you're giving this away, we'll take it. Absolutely. Pretty sick. Battle Army He-Man. 10 bucks. Mm, I don't know what to say. Next, uh, they didn't have too many of these, and uh, maybe like two or three, but I had, I believe this is, might be an exclusive, a club exclusive. It is from 2013, and it is Hordak. White box. And I'll show you why. I believe this is the exclusive that they have. Yeah. There it is. Bam. Can you believe that? <laughs> Ten dollars. I believe this is the spirit of Hordak. This was a, an exclusive, I believe, to a Maddie Collector. And I don't know if a lot of people got this one, but this is so sick. And I, I was really, really surprised uh, to find this one. I never, I had the spirit of He-Man. I think it's like in a green type of uh, bluish color, but uh, yeah. Spirit of Hordak was in the, in the pile. Now, whether it was an accident, I'm not sure, but look at that. I would love to get Shadow Weaver, but Shadow Weaver is very, very expensive uh, figure, and I don't think that's <laughs> going to turn around and it comes down to no ten dollars. But uh, wow, this is this is a really, really dope figure as well, a club exclusive, and oh, this had to have it. And the last one I picked up, this figure, I think they only had maybe one or two of these. Again, I asked the owner himself, and he said, yes, this figure. This figure is very pricey. It's from 2014, and it's another Hordak figure. But this figure alone, if you check out your secondary market, this figure runs about a good $90 to $100. I asked him, I said, did you make a mistake? He said, no. He had about two or three in these sold out. And here it is. Bam. Hordak and Imp. Yes, this figure is what? Are you kidding me? Hordak and Imp. This figure alone runs about $90 to $100 on the secondary market. And you got them for $10. Bucks. So, I'm like, I'll take it. I'll take it as I can get them. Oh, my goodness. This is so sick, so dope. I think they had maybe one or two in the collectors to snatch this one up. And I was able to, was lucky enough uh, to grab him as well. Like I said, you only could have, uh, no scalpers was invited, so you can only get one of each. And I'm so happy to, uh, to be able to uh, pick all of these figures up uh, for a great price. Uh, buy 
10 figures and get one free and they were ten dollar bills y'all so guys and ladies there you have it there you go my black friday haul for masters in the universe classic figures buy 10 get one free epic epic haul i've never seen anything like it I had a great time, as you can see, with these figures, and I just added so many other figures to my collection, and my collection just continues to grow. If you guys and ladies want to see more of um, these Masters of the Universe classic figures, I do have a couple of more on the side, and maybe I'll throw them into, you know, another video or into a toy haul video. So, guys and ladies, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for stopping by. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And feel free to subscribe to get my latest and newest videos. Please share this video with your family and your friends. Especially if you're a master to the universe classic figures. You know, a collector and fan. And, you know, hopefully you guys can go uh, to your, uh, your store and be able to get these figures. Hopefully one day for maybe $10. I hope you can. But, uh... More videos to come on my channel, lots, uh, lots more. Stay tuned. Please keep locked in for my channel for more videos. You know, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, uh, some Turtles up in the house, NECA up in the house, Marvel Legends, Marvel Selects up in the house, Star Wars Black Series, and so much more. This is your girl, Miss Toy Diva. Can you dig it? Can you dig these awesome messes in the universe? Classic figures. Oh my goodness. I can, and I hope you can too. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting. Have a super awesome day. And I'll see you all on my next video.